Are you a fan of aged anything? Aged barrels, aged wood, aged whiskey even. Frankly, it's the only thing I'm missing right now because that is the vibe. This home is a mix of industrial, mid-century. It's a mix of the old and the new, the aged and the ultra smooth. So if you're into that, well, you better watch the Full House tour. And if you're not into that, well, you should be. Oh, look at that. Curbside appeal is definitely, definitely appealing right now. Hold on, let me park. And wow. This is a handsome house. Very industrial. I love the materials right from seeing it here at the front. I also adore that you have plants here as your wall but of course you do have a wall on this side of course your gate what is this okay so your gate is metal but for some reason it looks like wood i love the distress obviously it's going to be a very industrial home at least on the outside i don't know what it's going to look on the inside so let's find out so you have your vehicle gate over there and then your pedestrian gate is over here nice ledge for your guests to sit on while they wait granted of course that it's not raining oh they have a drain chain <laughs> i'm not sure what the technical term for that is but that chain is for the water without the chain the water is just going to spout everywhere but with the chain the water is just going to follow it and go down um in a suave manner iron doorbell is literally a bell hello okay Oh, ang ganda nang. Right, so there are dogs. I'm not sure if they want us here, so I'm not gonna go near them. But you have a pathway over there that goes to the side of your house. And then you have here a two vehicle car port. And then here, you have your main entrance with a lovely pathway. All of the materials that I'm seeing right now are mostly stone, wood, wood, lots of wood, different kinds of wood. Your pattern for the garage is cement. Ah, and, it's, and then you have some slate tiles over here. Smooth cement, rough cement. Oh, oh look at this I-beam. So technically your support is the I-beam, but you still have... It's uh, <laughs> iron wood, kumbaga. but it, this is technically wood braced with iron. That is so industrial. Okay, so, oh, hello. So this is your massive main entrance, solid wood with a pivot hinge. And the one opening the door is, of course, Hi. Colleen. Hi, Colleen. Hi. Oh, wow. Welcome. That is, that is beautiful. Okay, yeah. before we go any further, let us know a little bit about the home. So this one is located in Susana Heights, mm -hmm. Mundinlupa City. So as you can see, it's like a hidden sanctuary wherein um, it's filled with trees, more of like an oasis. Um, you can you will see it when once you tour the house. It already feels yeah. like an oasis. Actually. Yeah, I can't wait for you to see it. Okay, yeah. all right. So I'll see you later at the yeah. end of the tour when I'm seeing the home, and we'll see you again later. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Is that is that a door? It, I it think is. it's a storage. Yeah. Oh, okay. So behind the main door, sige, okay, lang kung ano pwede mo ipakita yan. Oh, may tao pa. <laughs> so we have storage. Okay, madaming gamit. But yeah, it's basically storage for shoes. That is nice. Okay. So, more. It looks a bench with shoes. And then here we have, okay, there are personal items here. But, dyan lang kayo. I'm just gonna check this one out if it's a... Oh, no, it's not. It's a... It's still a room in there. So, this must be the toilet. Okay. So, you have a bedroom here on the ground floor currently being used as storage slash office. But it does have an ensuite toilet and bath with a toilet shower area that's not enclosed. And then a sink. Look at this counter. So, to, to make it feel like you have more space than you actually... Actually, may space talaga eh. lang to. This part, it's a little too shallow for a sink. So they decided to 
taper this counter instead. That is a good design choice. Makes it look very interesting, supports the, the sink itself, and then it makes this area feel more um, designated. That is really cool design. So you have high ceiling, you've got some clear story windows up top, frosted windows here, because it's a bathroom. That is nice. I can tell you have a lot of windows throughout the entire home. Although it's a bit of a so it's not so much of But I mean, look at that. All you're seeing is trees. And someone moved the cars, and that's what you're seeing. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so you have solid cement for the main stairs. Look at that. It's just cement. But because it curves around, it looks so visually satisfying. You have one uplight on the ground. That's it. It's already it already makes your uh, main stairs a sort of centerpiece, or at least the main conversation piece the moment you enter the home. That's super cool. Oh, your flooring is smooth cement with a few patterns here and there. It's smooth cement, and then here it transitions to solid wood. So this area now is your living area. So your living, dining, and your kitchen. Okay, so that side is similar to the wood that we saw from outside. So the materials kind of translate indoors and outdoors. Like for example, okay, apart from the I-beams, of course, you can still see the exposed I-beams with the solid wood braced in metal. And then the materials here, I think Tito Masquita. Oh, I love these kinds of chairs. <laughs> Ito. So you see that this cement is the same material literally inside and outside. Meron lang glass in between. But it's literally the same. I love all of the textures. It's so delicious. <laughs> okay. So to separate your living from your dining, you have visual separation via the floor pattern. So again, you have the smooth concrete and then the wood slats. And then on this part, you have this beautiful cement wall. This is just cement, but it's made to look like bricks or shutters. So that's interesting. Again, you have an exposed I-beam. You have a corner window. And then outside, sana kita kasi medyo madilim na, you have a swimming pool. And your swimming pool looks like an oasis. So you have a wooden deck, you have gardens all around, and then if, I believe if you go through that left side, you end up going back to the carport with the dogs. <laughs> of course the dogs aren't included in the, in the home, huh? But anyway, look at that. It's so private. That side is the facade of, or that's the front of the property, but you don't feel that way. It just looks like it's tucked away in a hidden corner. Which it is. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. And then, of course, you, that is your view coming from your living, your dining, and your kitchen. Oh, we have food. Kumain na kayo kanina, no? Random chair. Ay, hello po. Bakal pala. Random chair in the middle. Usug ko lang. So you have a bar here in the center that also acts almost like an island counter, but not really because it's attached to a wall, which is where your sink is. You have your refrigerator hidden over here. You have lots of storage, and then your stove and grill is over here. And you have a few windows that lets in natural light, I assume when it is actually bright outside, but it's dark now. This is a barn door or sliding door. Hello po, sorry, okay, nandiyan na po sila. Um, that leads to the laundry area, staff quarters and uh, your daily kitchen. So we're going to go to the next one. This one is storage. Oh, no, no, it leads out. This door leads back out to the backyard. Okay, I get that. No, look at that. It's a mix of... It's a mix of mid-century, the furniture, the lighting fixtures, this main staircase, the materials, and and also still very 
industrial. When I say industrial, I'm referring to 1920s, the Industrial Revolution, and of course it has touches of contemporary and modern um, architecture. So if you like seeing houses like this, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first, and follow us on Instagram at Cristela underscore official. I love houses like this, and hopefully you guys do too. And if you want to see the rest of our listing, check out our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Before we head up, though, ah, gagandahan talaga ako dito. It's just all greens. Oh, so we have a barn door again over here, sliding door that leads to the guest powder room. Oh, that's pretty solid. It it feels like concrete yung ilalim ng kahoy. Parang buhos. It feels that way. So you have your toilet, your beautiful pedestal sink, and this is what controls the water. Oh, that's so nice. So the space is really on from here to here, but because of the mirror, it feels like the space is doubled. Oh, what a handsome house. I love the distress of the wood and the concrete everywhere okay so obviously if we have parties or want to entertain guests this is where you would leave them to use the comfort room okay but now let's head up the second floor via these beautiful hardwood um, steps okay so as you reach the second floor, generally still concrete, but it transitions to metal. Oh, I love it. Hold on. Okay, there's a little bit of flex there since the corner is just rounded and it's cantilevered, you could say, because the, the support is actually from these. I'm getting, I'm nerding out a little bit, but I really, really appreciate the construction. This is so beautiful to me <laughs> it's art okay so the moment you get here on the second floor though the first thing you will see apart from this obviously that i got distracted by is your den so i believe the the woodwork is temporary you can definitely uh change that according to your taste and that also needs a bit of wd <laughs> a bit of oil but okay i'm curious what's behind okay <laughs> i'm <laughs> oh wow okay all right we'll, we'll see that later apparently there's a big area out there so if you open this up it's going to be one massive floor to ceiling glass and you can actually go up but we'll go there later okay so this is a nice den with a glass um divider and i say this is just a divider hindi siya hanggang ceiling so it's just there to enclose the space siguro si aircon oops sorry john <laughs> so perfect entertainment area and then here again you have another i-beam but they decided to make the most out of it by incorporating shelves for storing books and knickknacks and ooh, let's go to this one first and over here we have three doors and this one. Oh, that's a nice okay so obviously we have personal items but i love that touch very minimalist so over here we have bedroom number two so you have built-in uh wooden shelves over here but again temporary you can change that if you want you have a clear story window over here a bigger window and then another one over there you do have shadow gaps, but generally the ceiling is flat with a few down lights and some directional lights. Alright, and then this is the common toilet and bath. Oh, okay, so this side is just mirrors. You have another counter space over here for your sink. It is uniquely shaped again, custom, <clears throat> to fit the space better, make it feel like you have more storage and counter space without making it feel cramped. That's the beauty of making irregular shapes. A nice wooden and solid ledge. Grabe. Over here. And then this is all just window as well. So during the daytime, that's going to be nice and bright. And that's probably the reason why they have blinds over it. 
you have your toilet and then your non-enclosed <laughs> shower space it is a big space though so i'm pretty sure without glass here you're gonna get a few water splatters here when you take a shower but it's not that big because it's a wall that's pretty big uh, toilet and bath but again that's shared because that one does not have an ensuite and neither does this i'm guessing yep okay so here we have bedroom number three good space you've got two windows over there this one is floor to ceiling that one is not <laughs> and again some built-in cabinetry with a vanity but it's up to you how you want to customize this to your liking although it does suit the bookshelf <laughs> like uh, over here <laughs> you know even down to this area but you can put a collection or you know, what have you so at least it's not wasted okay even here during the daytime it's gonna be nice and bright when the sunlight goes through the clerestory windows those are not fixed pala those are awning windows okay and then here ooh check this one out first let's see all right another common toilet and bath so you have your sink your toilet and your shower space and it's much bigger this time i think you can safely shower without getting the entire place wet concerned that talaga kasi yun diba pag hindi siya enclosed ako i don't like it when the whole bathroom is wet when you take a shower so that's nice and then knock all right, and over here we have bedroom number four. Lovely space. Obviously, you can fit a queen-sized bed over here, a desk. By the way, I don't think that's a desk, <laughs> but they made use of it anyway. Maganda naman yung layout, in fairness. Um, <laughs> you have your built-in cabinetry, some shelving, a vanity, and then I'm going to assume you have, all right, access. I Okay, but you have access to a balcony that I cannot open at hindi nyo rin makita kasi madilim <laughs> but it's it's a pretty big balcony out there maybe later we'll manage to squeeze ourselves out and show you we'll see okay and then here mm, <laughs> so here we have some kind of um, it's not exactly an anteroom but it's another nook so you could probably be an office or a study, or in this case, a nice little breakfast nook. Because it's umaga, I'm sure ang ganda nito, nice and bright. And it's just a nice private area where you can have tea in the morning or coffee. Over here, we have bedroom number five. Okay. So again, you have this much space. You can fit a full-sized bed. So smaller than the one previously. Uh... Your built-in is over here with a vanity, and again, you have a mix of windows. A full window and uh, two awning windows. The, the ceiling is generally the same for all of the bedrooms. But again, I mean, look at this. It's no? simple. Lang. Simple implementation, because it's the I-beam. But they put it in like concrete, so it made all of these layers. It's, inter it's visually nice to look at. Okay, and over here, bedroom number six, master bedroom. So you have this space over here, which they used for their piano and for their writing desk. Oh, I haven't seen a writing desk in a long time. And then they have a divider, which also works as a uh, correction. Atama, a divider that also works as a headboard, as well as a continuation of the actual bed frame itself. So king size bed with a beautiful view that you cannot see <laughs> sorry madilim but yeah you can go out the balcony in that area and then you have a sliding door that leads to the ensuite toilet and bath with your oh that's interesting so this entire area is depressed <laughs> a weird behind you know and it's where your shower and your toilet is magkatabi so i guess if you wanted to multitask you could. <laughs> you have your his and her sinks. You have your bathtub over here. This entire wall almost, almost, is just a hardwood ledge for you to put your products in or plants. Plants would look really, really nice here. 
And dapat iangat ko to eh, to show you, but you know, puro glass lang din siya. So again, during the day, nice and bright. Tile niyo CR, pero dito sa part nito cement ulit for the walk-in closet. This side puro salamin din siya, so it makes the space feel really big. And again, you have clear story windows up there. Oh wow! I wonder what this house looks like at like 6 a.m. Yung ganong klasing araw, ang ganda siguro. Okay. Makalabas ba tayo dito? <laughs> hindi. Hindi. Walang ilaw. Okay. You know. I don't know if you can see guys. Super dilim na kasi. Wala nang ilaw. But. Yeah. It's a big balcony. Saan nakita sa B-rolls? <laughs> Kanina medyo may araw pa eh. Okay. So that's been it. That's two stories. I will meet you downstairs again with Colleen, but for now, make sure you check out these edgy B-rolls. Oh, what's this? Oh, I think these are supposed to be lights and these are on for the stairs. That's nice. Okay, hi, Colleen. Hi. Ah, okay, so I've gone around the whole house. Um, recap na tayo ng numbers. So we have 500 square meters of lot area and then 480 square meters of floor area split between two stories. Six bedrooms, four toilet and baths, and uh, one powder room. And then a two-vehicle carport, right? A swimming pool, a balcony that I didn't actually go to, but I'm sure you guys saw it earlier. I'm sure the B-rolls are amazing. And the whole house is basically an oasis, as you mentioned earlier. Uh, very industrial, but still very sleek and timeless. And I love it. Yeah. Well, what are your thoughts about it? For me, what I love about this is that it's a mix of mid-century oh. and industrial as well. And you can see that the pieces, even the furnitures, are very well created. They are. Um, it just really um, matches the feel of the house. Yeah, yes. when you come in, you feel like you're um, in an oasis, as I said. Can you? Yeah, I completely yeah. agree. Hindi kami nag-usap, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> With regards to the theme, I didn't ask her about it. Pero kasi obvious naman. Yes. That the industrial theme is there, the mid-century, and of course, uh, modern contemporary. So it's a beautiful blend, and again, it's here in Susana, Susana Heights in Muntinlupa City. Mm -hmm. So if you or anyone you know wants to see this place, make sure make sure you send us a message, call our number somewhere over here, <laughs> or contact Colleen through our website at www.precello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with, with Precello. Pre we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>if you want to see more house tours make sure you click here and if you want to see more of our build your owns or byos click here and if you want to see more of our other content click right here also if you haven't subscribed okay <laughs>